Hummingbirds, as I'm sure you know, are amazing and extraordinary creatures. They're incredibly small, but despite their size, have you ever paid close attention to those things you've seen? In this short documentary, you will learn a little more about a certain type of hummingbird, the Rufus hummingbird, which is more amazing than you may think. The Rufus hummingbird, kingdom Animalia, class bird, order Polyformes, family Trohilidae, and a scientific name of Celesphorus rufus, is often described as feisty and seems to have the perfect size to weight ratio. This species of hummingbird is faster than all the others and thus often outflies other less mobile hummingbirds. Furthermore, the rufous hummingbird has the longest migration path out of all American and Canadian hummers. All birds are vertebrates. They breathe through lungs, are born from eggs, and are warm-blooded. Rufous hummingbirds can only survive for about an hour without food so this bird would not make a good pet. When it comes to physical characteristics, the average weight of a male is 3.22 grams. The female weighs in at 3.41 grams. These birds are only 7 to 9 centimeters long. The females tend to be a bit longer than the males overall. To put that in context, the birds are three times shorter than your standard ruler and weigh just a little less than the British penny. The adult males have a non-iridescent rufous crown, tail and sides, but the back may be rufous red, green or some of each. The males also have a bright orangey red gorget with a white breast. In good lighting, these birds can glow like coals. The green-backed males cannot be easily differentiated from Alan's hummingbird without the view of the tail feathers. The females, on the other hand, have a green and back crown white breast, a street throat, rufous sides, base of tail feathers, and also white tips on the outer tail feathers. They can appear very similar to the female Allen hummingbirds and a tiny bit like the broad tail species. These hummingbirds can have a fairly slender bill that's nearly straight, a tail that tapers to a place when folded, and short wings that don't reach the end of the tail when the rufous is perched. Here's your first rufous hummingbird fun fact. Do you know that the rufous hummingbirds have a normal lifespan of about three years? That's pretty long for a bird that size. By the way, the oldest rufous hummingbird is eight years and 11 months old. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about the rufous hummingbirds habitat, food, nesting, and behavior. At a glance, rufous hummingbirds live in open woodlands, nest in trees, the main food is nectar, and most of the current behavior is hovering or perching on branches or poles. Throughout the course of this documentary, we will explore these points a little more, as well as put in some cool facts about these fascinating features. Rufous hummingbirds tend to breed and live in open areas or shrubby areas, including forest openings, parks, yards, and only rarely but nevertheless do, they do breed sometimes in forests, thickets, and meadows. Hummingbirds tend to live in rest where food is abundant. You can find the rufous hummingbirds from sea level all the way up to somewhere around 6,000 feet. However, during this annual migration, you can find hummingbirds up to 1,200 feet. In Mexico, the rufous hummingbirds live in oak, pine, and juniper woods at 7,500 to 10,000 feet in elevation, as well as in shrubby areas and thorn forests. Wow, that's a lot of information coming at you. It's time for another Rufus Hummingbird fun fact. Hummingbirds are virtually impossible to catch, but in history, there have been two reports of a Rufus Hummingbird being caught. Once by a large flycatcher, a brown crested flycatcher, and once being caught by a bullfrog or a toad. When it comes to food, Rufus Hummingbirds eat mainly nectar from colorful flowers like columbine, scarlet yellow, pentamon, Indian paintbrush, mints, lilies, fireweeds, black spurs, Currents and heats. Phew, that's a lot. That's not all. Rufous hummingbirds can get fat and protein from eating insects such as gnats, midges, and flies taken away from the air. Hummingbirds can also eat aphids and plants. It's time now for fun fact number three. Rufous hummingbirds fly about 3,900 miles each way when migrating. Hummingbirds are about three inches, so therefore, a rufous hummingbird's travel from Alaska to Mexico is the same as traveling 
78 million 407,000 hummingbird body lengths. This compares to the Arctic tern, which is 13 inches long and only travels about 51 million 430 body lengths. Thus, this hummingbird is absolutely amazing. Now, here's how Rufus hummingbirds nest. Each female hummingbird lays two to three eggs. The egg lengths are about 1.3 centimeters and width about 0.8 centimeters. The incubation period tends to be about 15 to 17 days and nesting period is 15 to 19 days. The eggs are tiny and white. When the young are hatched, they have little or no feathers and are sparse gray down the back. They have their eyes closed and are a little clumsy. The females begin to nest within three days of their arrival in breeding grounds. They make their nests about 30 feet high in coniferous or deciduous trees, for example, mesquite, spruce, western red cedar, Douglas fir, pines, hemlock, birch, maples, thimbleberry, and sometimes ferns or vines. The nests are typically hidden in drooping branches, sometimes with several nests in the space of a few meters. It's time for yet another cool fact about Rufus hummingbirds. Did you know that the Rufus hummingbird has such an amazing memory for location that some are known to return investigating a place where a feeder had once been the previous year or even the year before that, though the feeder had been moved? Rufus hummingbird's behavior is very interesting. The hummingbirds usually just hover around to sip nectar in flowers and fly to other flowers after that in fast straight beelines. When they're not feeding, they will rocket themselves at other hummingbirds that show up. All ages in both males and females are aggressive, even in short stopovers in the course of migration, when they may chase off resident broad-tailed, broad-billed, violet-crowned, and black-chinned hummingbirds. You can sometimes see hummingbirds picking insects from mid-air, from leaves or bark or even spider webs. When agitated further, they will fan their tails and chirp, and males will flash their iridescent throat patches. Many males will do a steep oval or J-shaped courtship flight when a female enters their breeding territory. If the female perches, then the male may switch to a low horizontal figure eight. It's time for your last cool hummingbird fact. The annual breeding bird survey showed a slow but steady decline in rufous hummingbirds in Washington State, Oregon, and in also British Columbia. The population declined 1-2% over the last 30 years. Nevertheless, the 2006 study shows that at least there are 6.5 million of these birds still around, and the Cilephalus rufus is typically regarded as being secure. It's time for this video to come to an end now. Thank you for watching.